Might be a hot take, but I'd rather be in a situationship for six months than in a relationship for six months. Oh! Ew! Welcome to my little like rant talk. The struggles of being a hot bitch. Like, the struggles of being a hot bitch. Yeah, you suck. Let's end the situation chips. What is this bullshit? When, I mean, I haven't been in a relationship for a while. Um, I've been focusing on like myself and my career. It's independent. Two seconds later. Um, but what is this situation ship bullshit? Like if you're not gonna bring me soup when I'm sick, what's, what's the point? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Women Regretting Hookup Culture. And lately, guys, I've been going to anger management uh, seminars and whatnot to, you know, manage a little my emotions. And we just gotta start with the words. I'd rather be in a situationship than in a relationship. So, uh, really testing here, testing my patience, but I'll keep it cool, guys. <laughs> so, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Like the video if it entertains you. And leave me your thoughts in the comments, guys. But now let's get started. Might be a hot take, but I'd rather be in a situationship for six months than in a relationship for six months. But let me caveat by saying that both parties should be in agreement about the situation. I don't support the situationships where one person is putting in way more effort than the other person. I was in a situationship this year for six months. We basically were doing everything that a couple would do. We even had a couple's TikTok page, but we just did not put a title on it. You might think, oh, the guy wasn't ready to commit and he didn't want to put a title on it. But no, I also was not ready to commit. I was still getting to know him, weighing the pros and cons, analyzing and figuring out whether I could see him as a long term partner. Yeah, that's something you should do before you spread your legs. That is something that we used to call uh, the courtship period. Now, this was, if I recall correctly, uh, seven centuries ago. No, guys, this was less than 100 years ago when we had that and that was the norm and everything was way more normal uh, but now we've just got rid of all the rules because who cares about rules why uh, right who cares about human history uh, dating in the same way for thousands of years when we are way smarter than that and uh, womanism has showed us all these new empowered and liberating paths so Let's go, you know, let's go down on, on them with, you know, and then we'll see how it turns out. And this is how it turns out. It's absolutely pathetic. So that's why I didn't care to put a title on it. I watched the first episode of Alex Earl's podcast recently, and one part really resonated with me. She said, society makes it seem that girls are the ones who are distraught and need to be in a relationship, but that's just not the case. And that really resonated with me. Ah, so we're not gonna get any explanation, right? <laughs> I thought that you might as well just tell us why, other than just saying, oh, it resonated with me because it did. It's like, why should I believe in that, given that it's not the case, given that it's women who whine about, uh, you know, he didn't commit after the situationship. You don't hear men whining about that. Men are absolutely happy. Oh, I, I just got my recreational purpose toy right here. I get to use it, and uh, when I'm tired, it's just over. It's absolutely perfect. You don't see men whining about situationships. It's women who whine about that. So why should I believe that uh, girls, you know, th they are drawn as the distraught ones, but they really are not? Why? No notice how she resonates with it on an absolutely emotional level. Th there's no rational thinking. There's no looking at the facts. Uh, there's no critical thinking in any sort. It's just, that's the way I want to feel. That's what I want to cope with. So I'm going to believe in it. You know, it's, oh, it resonated with me. It's just a blank statement. I feel like if you're still unsure, you should use that time to keep exploring and go on other dates and meet new people. Now, granted, I only went on a few first dates during those six months and it didn't progress after that first date. But at least I didn't feel like I was wasting any of my time during those six months. Yeah, so first thing here, this is what happens, guys. You'd be shocked if you knew the amount of women that are eating Chad's banana while they're at a date with you. Like, 
you go there and you and you maybe you think wow maybe you know maybe i could take this somewhere this girl doesn't look bad and in the meanwhile she has like five guys in the background uh one who provides one who takes her to the cinema uh, another two that she you know likes to go out with on a tuesday night uh to you know quote unquote netflix and chill you know it's like man it's just disgusting uh what these women are up to nowadays you know and, and they have the audacity to go on a date and see if it goes somewhere <laughs> where is it going to go you're absolutely in ruins but if we did put a title on things and if we did commit to each other then i wouldn't have been able to keep exploring and going on other dates and after those six months i probably would have felt like i wasted some time i will no, notice how it's not wasting her time when she spends six months getting used by a guy and being treated like a piece of meat, like an object, like uh, something unanimated, you know, it's it's even worse than an animal. She's not wasting her time with that. But if she was in a serious relationship, that will have been wasting her time. I just, what can you say to that? You know, what sort of sympathy do people expect that we guys should feel towards these women you know after they say things like this well i'm happy for you madam if you think that that is really the best case scenario that uh, being treated like a piece of meat is better than actually having a boyfriend who actually likes you even if you break off which yes it's a waste of time you just wasted six months on, on something that it's not going to uh, you know evolve into anything but at least you were trying like, at least you could say that, you know, this serious relationship actually taught me about the things that I did wrong, about the sort of partner that I, that I thought I want, but I actually don't, you know. Like, at least there, there's some learning to be done. What exactly did you learn in a situationship? I just don't get it, guys. This woman, I cannot believe that human individuals can actually be so blindsided. You know, I just really can't believe it. Uh, going to the point of saying that a situationship is way better than a relationship it really shows what these women are after she may say that she's going on first dates and oh i want to meet the love of my life you know the romantic girls no guys don't get lied if they if they have ever been part of a situationship this woman is just massive red flag run for the hills zero percent of actually succeeding at something I will say that in hindsight, I probably didn't need six months to make a decision. I probably could have made a decision around the three month mark because we did. No, you probably could have made a decision before you spread your legs. There is this one maxima that works for literally every woman. And it is don't spread your legs before there is commitment. That's it. Now, you can take it in whatever direction you want. You can be, uh, you know, Catholic, Christian-like, where you don't spread your legs before the marriage. Uh, you can take it a you know a step down. You don't have to spread your legs before you call the other person your boyfriend. Or maybe you don't spread your legs even bef uh, before you become boyfriend and girlfriend, just by you feeling that that person actually cares about you. But no, guys, these women, absolutely not. They spread their legs for a guy they knew from two hours ago, or they've been texting for like three days, and they call it a day. We did spend a lot of time together. We were seeing each other like three or four times a week. I saw a quote recently, and I think it's really helpful. It says, if you're not sure, it's a no. I really believe in trusting your gut and your intuition, and that's something I should have done earlier on this year. Welcome to- Well, guys, so she really did learn. Wow, what a great wisdom. Uh, if if you you know if it sounds like a no, if I'm feeling insecure about him literally every day, and all my friends say he's a red flag, then I think maybe he is a red flag. Wow, what a wisdom! Someone write it down. We're gonna we're gonna put this somewhere, you know, on the city. Just the wisdom of 2024. These women guys, they're absolutely ruins. Now let's continue with the next individual. To my little like rant talk. The struggles of being a hot bitch. Like, the struggles of being a hot bitch, there's not really many, except, like, if you're a relationship girly like me. Okay, so first off, who lied to her that she's hot? Uh, second, it, it really takes some audacity 
to be the town bicycle and call yourself a relationship girly. To, to have been actively in, involved in situationships, but call yourself a relationship girly. I mean, they're really trying to get on my nerves today, guys. But as you can see, I'm just absolutely chill. No drama over here. Everyone constantly in this, like, society, I don't know, wants to hook up. And it's like, it's so hard to, like, find love now. Because everybody just, like, wants to hook up. And it's honestly just, like... Ah, oh, I'm sick of it. Guys, wait till she finds out she can actually not be part of that. <laughs> you know, just imagine the moment she finds out she doesn't have to be part of uh, hookup culture and situationships. You know, maybe that's the reason, guys, why all these women uh, cry about situationships, yet they keep accepting them. It's maybe because they don't know that they have the option to say no. And, and, you know, just be a decent woman and not, you know, devalue your body so much. I mean, a lot of blame is put on to men that, oh, they play women. You know, they, they view them as objects, just how disgraceful and all these things. Yes, there are a lot of trashy men out there that want to do that. But the moment you accept to it, I don't feel no sympathy because you accepted it. You wanted that for yourself. So you allowed that. And not only you are allowing it, but in order for a man to treat you like a piece of meat, you have to view yourself in that way in the first instance. You know what I mean? Like, if these women valued their bodies and valued their time, guys, we wouldn't have these stories, all right? If these women valued themselves, they wouldn't be entertaining these sort of men. So why would I feel sympathy that some char just accepted your terms and conditions because it's women who set the rules it's women who decide whether s3x is to be had or not it's women who decide who to engage with you know it all starts from them i'm sick of it i hate it thank you goodbye i'm gonna do one more rant for the night because i'm on a roll um and when i'm on a roll you just you gotta you gotta take it today's been one of those days um the funny factor has been through the roof. Um, so one more thing. Let's end the situationships. What is this bullshit? When, I, mean, I haven't been in a relationship for a while. Um, I've been focusing on like myself and my career. It's independent. Um, but what is this situationship bullshit? Like if you're not gonna bring me soup when I'm sick, what's, what's the point? Wait, but why aren't you independent? It's always, guys, the women who are independent, it always takes them less than five seconds to show how much they need a man and how they want him in their lives, you know? He's independent. Point. If I can't count on you for sex, like, what? what's the point? I don't understand the point in the situationships. Can we end... Ladies, stop for fun. Stop doing it. Stop doing it. It doesn't look good on you. Stop doing it. Okay, great. Okay, guys. So the TikTok ends right here. Is these women with the situationships and all of that? Uh, it's something self-inflicted, all right. Oh, nobody is putting a gun to their head. The last time I checked. But talking about guns, let me on some gameplay, guys, while I talk about uh, something that I was thinking about these days regarding hookup culture. You know, an analogy uh, about these women. I would compare them to a broken bottle, all right? Just a, a bottle that has a hole, uh, you know, down. So it's like no, no matter what you try to pour into it, no matter how many efforts you put into filling that bottle, it has a hole. It will never be filled, you know? And women, just like the bottle, uh, they these sort of women that we covered today, they also have a hole. No pun intended, it's just they are broken, all right? They're absolutely broken. Uh, all these chads and bad decisions and situationships. Like, you heard the first woman, right? I'd rather have a situationship than a relationship. It, these women are broken, guys. And no matter how much you try, okay? There's a lot of guys who think that, oh, I can save her, I can do this, I can do that. No, my, my dude, it's not about you. Yes, you can try your hardest, 
uh, you can sell your soul for her. She's not going to uh, change, all right? She, she's been doing the same mistakes for the last 15 years. You think she's going to change for you? You think you can make her be loved and oh, love will solve everything? No, it won't, right? No, it won't. And now, that, just to be absolutely precise, uh, the difference between a woman and a battle is that, of course, uh, a battle with a hole is doomed. Why people can change, all right? So uh, I'm not really making the point that it's absolutely impossible. I'm just making the point that for every woman that, you know, after so many years of being trashed and making bad decisions and breaking herself and viewing herself as a piece of meat, after all those years... You know, for every woman that can change, there's like a thousand, ten thousand that won't change. So th the question is not whether it's possible or impossible. I don't even care about that. The question is, why try? You know, why would you as a man, no matter where you are in life, you know, you can be rich, poor, uh, in shape, overweight, uh, 20, 70, doesn't matter. It's just whatever your situation is. Why would you risk everything you have and make your, your situation way worse just for this 0, 0.0 something percent chance that this uh, particular woman uh, can, you, you can have a relationship with her, you know? Why just don't go for any other woman? It's, guys, situationships and all these uh, dating apps and hookup culture, it really has its way of tearing down women. And the best part is that uh, women were already broken when they decided to start with it, you know? No decent woman, no woman with self-respect will willingly go through that and decide, you know what, I'd much, I'd much rather have all these situationships dealing with men who only view me as a body uh, than go for that one, guy who, uh, that one guy who's hitting me on my DMs and is being a pleasant individual, all right? No woman with self-respect will do that. So... That that's my run, guys. That's my thoughts. Um, leave me yours down in the comments, and I'll be happy to see you next time, guys. Have a good one.